I'm here with Bill Sanderson, who played Larry on New Heart. Right. Yes, I, I, was, I was a big fan. Thank you. I, I watched them after they aired, obviously, for the first time. Well, I know. God bless you. Yeah. <laughs> really. But uh, well, your character, Larry, was, uh, was very popular with the, with the live audience that you guys taped in front of. Yeah. As, uh, uh, I, was, I was wondering how that audience reaction, like how did that feel as an actor when you came out and they would just keep clapping and clapping, they wouldn't stop cheering for you? Well, it felt good, but I, I couldn't really savor it. I'm a worrier about hitting my mark or, or remembering my lines, and I've had them say, did you hear that applause? And uh, I, sort of, but yeah. you, you have to time it. But John Volstead, who played my other brother, Daryl, and Tony Pappenfuss came out by themselves uh -huh. one time, and they got this huge applause. And Tom Poston, bless his heart, said, watch, he'll mess his line up. When I came out on the stage, I messed up a line. He claims that I was jealous of the Daryls, but they, they, the laughter is what it's all about. And uh, luckily they continued. But they were fans of Bob's and loyal to him from even his old show. Mm -hmm. one, one producer said, just remember, this is just 200 people here. You that's know. it, that's it. And, you know, otherwise, oh, aren't I great? Uh, speaking of Tom Poston, uh, I first ran into him on TV when he was on Family Matters. Oh. And he played Mr. Lune, the uh, janitor. Yeah. So that's where I became such a huge fan of his character acting. Do you have any just, like, fun memories from him on set? Well, he gave us some advice. Uh, fun, I can't say it, because uh, some of them are four-letter words. <laughs> but I thought of three. He, he uh... He gave me the advice about the three brothers. He said, all you do is love and respect each other. Mm -hmm. He took me to his agent at uh, ICM, and I couldn't even get in the door without him. And, but fun memories, there's a pecking order, and he sat by Bob, and then there's Julia and Peter, and, and then Larry, Darren, and Daryl. So I didn't hear all, uh, when we the read-through, I didn't hear all the, but uh, it was all fun. It was all fun. Yeah. But, uh, let's see, Tom, um, I, he's I just, when you say, I know that he's a long-time great actor himself and did movies before, in, going back to the 50s. But uh, there you go. I wish I had John Volstead and Tony Pappenfuss here. They got the memories. Yeah. I had more auditions than they did, and yeah. I had one too many. Well, speaking of auditions, speaking of auditions, I heard that you wore a coin in your ear. Is that is that true? I did. Okay. When I was doing the movie Coal Miner's Daughter, I looked through a bunch of books in the 40s, which is when it was my little part of her uncle was set, and there was a lady who wore a coin in her ear, and I said, well, I'm just messing around, and when I'm selling moonshine off the mule's back, I said to the director, and he said, yeah, he's making change, and but I put it on. I put it on a new heart just for good luck, thinking it's a one-time thing. You know, uh, they wrote the part for another actor. Could you? Yeah. Could you ever see the coin in your ear in any episodes? You think? Uh, I don't. Yeah, my wife says I'm on Instagram and she <laughs> blows it up and shows me. I I know some of them thought that they uh, it was a hearing aid or something, but oh, I, nice. and the hat covered it, but. I'm so superstitious, I didn't want to change, so I kept wearing it. But they wrote it for uh, Tracy Walter, a good friend of mine, a wonderful character. But then you won the role. Yeah. Let me ask you this about Daryl and Daryl, real quick. Um, they, when did they find out that they were going to get a line in the final episode? Probably not. They may have told them early, you know, we're all on a need-to-know basis. Okay. Yeah. But uh, they probably told them... Uh, close to the end of the eighth season, yeah. but I w they wouldn't tell me because I'd protest. <laughs> I don't want them talking. You didn't want, you didn't want them one up in you. Can I tell you what a sweet thing Dar uh, Tony said to me one time? Whatever you want. He talking dressing rooms and salaries. He said, I just want to walk right behind you, Bill. That's a sweet thing to say. He's, uh, you know, he's happy. We were all happy. Yeah. It's not about money. The cast seemed really close. I think that's great. And I really appreciate you talking with me today. Thank you very much. Thank I you. Talk too much. No, hey. All right. We'll do a second round after this. Second round. <laughs>